Welcome to the BFME One Online Arena 2.22. This is on the map Three Boots of Harnin. And I want to one matchup between me and Tuk. And the matchup is good against Evil. Rohan against Isengard. Beautiful. I mean, this map is gorgeous, by the way, guys. You will enjoy this map a lot. We are a strong and I haven't played for a pretty long time. There are wolves near. Let's recruit Meriodoc Brainybok. Now, when you play Rohan, you have a couple of options. So you can go for the for the peasant spam, or you can just pretty much rush to uh, rush to Steeble. And I personally like to get Steeble up on the field as soon as possible. You know. With haste. So we can use different pathways. It's very important. Um, this map actually opens lots of possibilities when it comes to pressuring your opponent from multiple different pathways throughout the entire game. Okay, so I think we were able to sneak through though. That's beautiful. Okay, so our goal is to destroy at bare minimum one of the lumber mills, you know? We need to kind of cut the resource income from our opponent big time, so he can't get super strong in the mid to lead game. Rohan is a very snowball faction, so if we get a lead, we can win very, very fast, okay? So Uruk's at the top, that's good for me. Ooh, you wanna fight this? I need to zoom in a bit more, actually. The orbits are so annoying in this game, you know? Okay, we can run away. We don't need to fight against the Warchant and the Uruks. We can make them follow us and buy time. You need to leave a leg now. I was able to save him. Nice. Okay. Oh my god, there is a layer. Be careful. Let's go up, 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 up. Okay, so from the beginning of the game, we only recruited two more additional peasants. It's totally fine. There are some people who recruit like five, six battalions of peasants. It's also a possibility. That's why you like you need to like Rohan because Rohan has actually plenty of different uh, playstyles. And we can also now move with the Hobbit. Okay, let's go, 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 go. I'm coming, boy. I mean, with my first soul him, I want to actually get power points from killing those Uruks. Because I believe he has no pikemen just yet. And if I get a beautiful trample off there on the Uruks, we should be in a good spot. A bit behind the peasants. Oh, I wasn't able to cloak. Come on, Rohirrim. hit him. Okay, we need to save the Hobbit somehow. If I can save the Hobbit from this Uruks. Amazing. Please, let me live. Nice, okay. Uh, the Uruks, they can't bring the Hobbits to Isengard. That's gonna be hallelujah. Watch this now. Watch this. We will share experience with the Hobbit too. Watch this. Boom, 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 boom. Level 3. We get slowed down as we're charging in. One more trample. Oh no, Mary, no. I wasn't able to save you, my friend. Sorry for that. Okay, we have one power point collected and we have still not crept anything. There are plenty of creeps on this map. So, you know, in this map, every faction should be able to get power points from creeping because I believe there are like, what, eight creeps on this map, which is quite a lot. Let me know in the comments. We like this map, you know? Be careful. There are wolves nearby. Swiftly. I don't think I'm ready to be dead yet. I think it's time for lunch. Okay. So it's so far so good. Break off. Hide us of the mark. The most beautiful part about Rohan against Eisen is that we have peasants which are pretty much like a very cheap counter but effective counter to enemy pikemen. 
So you can use that for our advantage. And I believe our opponent is kind of in a poor situation. He's kind of not very wealthy. He's broke. Let's be real. Let's call it by name. He's broke. So he can't afford works anytime soon. And we can creep everything. Um, but before you creep, you always want to destroy the enemy settlements first, okay? Oh my god, boys. There is a huge spider on the wall, man. Holy. I'm scared now. No. I'm scared of spiders, man. But I can't leave this game being. I want to win this. Maybe if I get bitten by the spider, I will turn into spider, man. <laughs> okay. Let's creep. I mean, we are basically at Elven point. That's pretty good. We can creep. There are still many creeps left. We can get elves and eventually even healing on top of that, which would be like the dream case scenario. Creep, 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 creep. You want to still watch, uh, uh, you know, over your creeps because sometimes the Rohirrim will attack the Blair and not kill the Vorks first, which will cause you to lose the creep. But if you kill the Vorks first, it's quite easy with the Rohirrim, Knights or Vork Riders to creep. Okay, so what I like to do against Aizen is also I like to get an outpost, you know? So I want to close the distance between his castle and my healing spot. So I don't, I don't need to walk back all the way to the base to recover. I can just go to the outpost, you know? Get this, and we will buy the outpost over there and build a well so we can heal up. Come on, I can click. Okay, so beautiful. Now what we can do is we can play it slow. I think we are not in a spot where we need to hurry up, you know. We can play it slow and safe. And I will show you guys the strength of Rohan when you are finding yourself in a situation like this. So you don't need to rush anything. We have healing, we have Elven summon, and we have a Forge Blades heavy armor. We don't need shields. No, Mary was getting this cloak with the Palantir. But you see, my, my Mary was kind of forcing the opponent to use Palantir. So your Hobbit can be even useful in the mid-game. So we have Theorin, which basically is a replacement for the missing Horseman Shields. Now what we can do is... We can go with Heavy Armor and Forge Blades plus Theorin. And then we can summon the Elves, which also will get damage boost, armor boost from Theorin, you know? That's a very strong push. At this stage of the game, at least, which will be quite difficult for him to defend. And he has no lords, so we should be in a good spot. Okay, let's get there. Always draft your peasants, very important. I mean, even if he cripples me, I don't think he can kill me there. He crippled me, but I don't think he can... The spikes will die before they can reach out to me. Ah, maybe a bit too early healing, but it's okay. Okay, let's not chase Lourdes. Who cares about him? He's level 1 only. We can kill the pikeman first before committing any farther. Remember, we have no shields, but he has not many towers. So it should be good. I want to destroy the Urupit really. Urupit level 3, which means if we can take it down, he can't produce any more pikemen anytime soon. Let's get some yeoman. Oh no, I will lose one of the Rohirrim warriors, man. Oh boy. It's okay though. I think it's okay. Like, we are in a super strong stage of the game. Yeah, the, one, the one push to rule them all, boys. The one push to rule them all. I mean, the snowballing is coming in clutch here for the Rohan faction, right? I know some people are complaining about how weak Rohan is, but you can see when you get a good start like this, Rohan is a beast from the east. Die now. Level 3, beautiful. Nice. So. Okay, we can go back to heal and then do this on repeat, you know. Ah, he's gonna call it GG. Yeah, GG, my friend. Well played. And that's going to be a W, boys. How to defeat Isengard with Rohan 
in like 10 minutes. And my ranking is looking not hard, very hard, but to, you know, to my, for my defense, I didn't play a lot in, <laughs> lately. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.